Ryan Suzuki, Habs pick at 15th. Right here, talking Habs with Rick. Okay, so before we get into the video, question of the day. What's your philosophy? Pick the best player available or pick by need? I think uh, in the first round anyway, it's best player available. After that, you can go by need. That's fine. But in the first round, when you're getting the best talent out there, best player available because that could be a mistake if you don't. Um, okay, so let me know what you guys think. Leave a, a comment in the comment section below. And, um, yeah, I read them all. And I guess I think I forgot to say, please like, subscribe, smash that sub button, smash that bell, ring the bell, and it'll notify you of all my videos as they come out. And stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to give some shout-outs to you guys, you, especially the commenters. I'm going to give you some shout-outs. Okay, so let's get right into it. So I'm going to give you, i got five players here who I think are a possibility. Uh, that Montreal could pick up. Obviously not set in stone, because who knows what their philosophy is right now. Um, they're not going to say anything going into it. So these are, these are guys I think, if they're there, when the pick is uh, coming, uh, Habs might pick them. And I say might because, like I said, not written in stone. So first up, Ryan Suzuki. I know, I, I know everyone doesn't think he's going to be there, so I, I'm not sure he'll be there. At 15, but I've seen mock drafts and, blah, blah, and it, it, you know, stranger things have happened. If one or two teams veer off into a weird direction, he could be left up there. Um, so uh, I know a lot of you want a defenseman at this pick, but I'm the believer in picking the best player available. And uh, besides, more than likely, anyone that we pick in this draft at 15, especially, isn't going to be coming into play next year. It's unlikely. So. You, you know, pick the best guy because down the road he might be the guy that saves you. Okay, and if Suzuki, if the Suzuki brothers pan out, like I think they will, how great would it be to have both of them on a, on the same line as line mates, you know, called the Suzuki line? Plus, does not picking him maybe affect Nick that he gets upset they didn't pick his brother when they could have? And who knows how that works. It's a possibility. I don't know. So, scouting reports on uh, Ryan Suzuki say, Creative and silky distributor. Poised and patient with the puck. More speed than brother Nick. Teams will salivate uh, over his puck handling skills and high-end vision. Can process the game as quickly as he moves. A major asset in today's NHL. That's freaking right. He's a smooth skater and can stop on a dime, which often results in defenders blowing by him. So I say if available, he should be the number one, pick, uh, the 15th pick for Montreal. Next up, I think a lot of people are going for, we're thinking of a different player. I know Scotty to hockey, but he had this guy too. But I think this might be the guy that they go for as a defenseman. He shoots left. He's 5'11", 175 pounds. His name is Cam York. He's listed at number 13, last I, what I could get. He's a product of the NHL's expansion into California. He's an American He's an American kid from California. He played youth hockey for Anaheim Junior Ducks. He played this season for a strong under-18 U.S. team, producing 10, 10 goals, 41 assists, 51 points in 55 games. He is committed to playing at University of Michigan next season. Uh, he's got good speed and acceleration, outstanding edge work, agility and pivots. Uh, his good footwork allows for good gap control in the defensive zone and quick movements in the offensive zone, which make him a good two-way player. He's got good hockey sense. He makes smart decisions with the puck and without the puck. He creates ways out of the defensive zone. Excellent vision and passing a quarterback on the power play. Good anticipation. He could climb to a top pairing defenseman and uh, power play quarterback. So I could see them picking this guy. Uh, next up is, I, I'm not, and not in any particular order, by the way, except Ryan Suzuki. Alex Newhook. He's a center, 5'11", 185 from St. John's, Newfoundland. You should like that, Scott. Uh, he's captain of the Victoria Grizzlies of the BCHL. Has committed to playing with Boston College this fall. Again, won't be here next year. He has elite skating, good puck skills, 
dangerous off the rush and one-on-one -on -one situations. A good playmaker and good on the power play. Makes the power play better. Dangerous hands equally deadly with a pass or a shot. Absolute dominance in the BCHL last two seasons. BCHL stats last year, 53 games played, 38 goals, 64 assists, 102 points. Um, the year before, 45 games played, 22 goals, 44 assists, 66 points. I like that differential in goals and assists where you, a center should have close to or more than double his goals. He's a playmaker. Uh, okay, so next up, oh, by the way, the one knock on this kid is he plays for Tier 2, Tier 1, I forget how they have it out there, that he hasn't stepped up in the big games, but I don't know how much that's true. I've read varying um, arguments, but uh, anyways, that's the knock on him. Vili Hinola, he's a defense uh, defenseman, left-handed shot from Finland, 5'11 and a half, 175, so he's a Finnish D-man, Still two to three years from the NHL. I know Scott said he might make it. From what I read, he's a couple of years away. So I don't know. Uh, but they all are, so it's fine. Uh, possible top two pairing. Uh, like KK uh, did, he's playing against men, not juniors. He's a smooth skater with great edge work. A talented, effortless skater. Able to play big minutes. Good acceleration and agility. Really good wrist shot. That should get better as he gets stronger. Quick release and good accuracy. He's a good playmaker and great passer. Great no-look passes, apparently. He's great with the no-look passes. Thinks the game at a high level. Stays one step ahead of his opponents. And could make a good power play quarterback. And as you see with Cam York, that's you're going to look for a power play quarterback. I'm quite sure of that. Scotty was saying that too, and I, I, I agree with him. Uh, okay, and last up, last up, and I'm, I've seen him there, there, and I haven't never heard of this kid either. Uh, Ra apparently from Montreal, Raphael Lavoie. Uh, he's a winger, six four, one ninety, from playing for the Halifax Mooseheads. Like I said, a Montreal native, Lavoie is a big-bodied goal scorer with really good speed and can stick handle through traffic. Great hands and can work in tight spaces. I'm reading, by the way. Uh, Reports, uh, I didn't write this. Accurate shooter, a threat every time he crosses the blue line. Uh, a full array of tools. Uh, apparently, a knock on that, he doesn't bring every tool to the, to the game. But one day in the NHL, that's the, that's the idea. Has an accurate, heavy shot. Good at protecting the puck. A good decision maker. Can score from anywhere in the offensive zone. A heavy, accurate shot. Did I say that already? Okay, I'm not sure. I'm going to repeat it myself. Uh, and he has, he's got a lot of skill to offer. So there you go. That's my five. I think those are the five guys that uh, Montreal might target here. So good. who knows? Who knows what they're going to do? But these are the guys I was researching, and I think these one of these guys are the 15th pick. So now I'm going to give my shout-outs to... My guys out there, my community. So my biggest shout out is to Scott at Scotty Two Hockey. He's got a great channel. He has an experienced point of view and is very passionate about the Habs. So go Scott, go check him out and sub and ring him too. You won't you won't regret it. But check me out first before you go to Scott. That's all I ask. <laughs> uh, to Glenn Blake, thanks for the ideas and your support, bro. And that video is coming. I promise you. Uh, to David Arthur, Johnny Golden, Pierre Emmanuel Bois, Pat McNally, Austin Allen, Neil, I'm going to say Guy, I don't know, G H I I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I hope I didn't make it wrong. Let me know in the comments if I got it wrong. And apparently, Brendan Gallagher. Thanks, Brendan. Uh, I'm not sure if it's Brendan, but hey, thanks anyway. Um, and last for today, but not least, two more, Armin. And Amanda C., thank you guys for your support and your comments and watching my videos. I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. I really do appreciate it. Okay, so please like, subscribe, ring that bell down to notify you of all my videos. And the comment of the day is, what's your philosophy? Pick the best player available or pick by need? And like I said, I think first round you pick the best player available. After that, it's up to you. Uh, so uh, you can comment in the comment section below. Please do. I love your comments. And thanks for watching. 
I'm going to put a couple videos up here. One I pick. One YouTube's going to pick. And I hope you enjoy them. And I think that's it. So bye. Till next time. Thanks for the support, guys.